having a kid or an infant can be stressful, right? The long nights of no sleep can be because you can't figure out what what can't figure out what's wrong or you're constantly thinking what you're doing is wrong. I just want to put out there I'm not a parent myself. I was recently made a godmother to my auntie's firstborn and it made me think, would I be able to do this? Mm. An example of what it's like to have no idea of what you're doing when your baby is crying and you're overwhelmed. Walking the floor with your tired new son, Holly felt a wave of panic rising in her chest. She had, filled, she had fed him, burped him, changed his diaper, tried putting him in his swing, and had even taken his temperature. Everything seemed fine, and yet he was still out. Holly had tried calling her mom at work for advice. Her mom had been great through Holly's pregnancy and he, and during the first couple of weeks after her surgery. Lately though, Holly could tell that the strain of having the infant in the house was starting to get to her mother. Today must have been a hard, rough day at the office because she wasn't very much helpful. What is it now, Holly? Her mother asked, uh, asked to that annoyed you know, I asked you not to bother me at work unless it's an emergency. It is an emergency, Mom. Joey won't stop crying. Babies cry, Holly. That's what they do now. My supervisor is giving me, giving me the evil eye for taking another personal call. You're Joey's mother. Being a mother isn't easy, but you're just going to have to figure this one out. Since she had no luck with her mother, Holly decided to call Joey's father. Support. Hey Scott, it's Holly. Listen, Joey won't stop crying. I can't figure out what's wrong with him, and I think I'm going to lose it. Could you maybe come over for a little while and help me out? Just give me a little break. There's a moment of silence. Um, I'm sort of busy right now. I'm packing. School starts next week. Besides, what could I do, Holly? I don't know anything about baby. Can't you call one of your mom? Call one of your friends or your mom? Holly sighed. Her friends thought Joey was really cute, but they were always busy with summer jobs, parties, and boyfriends. There wasn't a lot of time left over for them to just stop by and help out babysitting or laundry. Holly had been expecting a lot more help. It was funny. She had thought that having a baby would be comforting. That she would never feel alone again. Now that she had someone that truly and that really and truly belonged only to her, instead, having a son actually made her feel even more alone. Joey face, Joey's face was bright red from crying. Frustrated and desperate, Holly began to cry herself. The baby shrieked, frantically, frantically. Drowning out the sound of Holly's on the screen. Suddenly she felt angry. None of this seemed fair. She should not have to be dealing with this all on her own. Where's her mother? Where's her friends? Where's Scott, who supposedly loved her a year ago? Over in the, oh, right, he's going off to college. Nothing ever happened. Joey's screaming grew louder, and Holly all of a sudden had an urge to just want to shake him and shut him up. The impulse scared her so bad that she very carefully laid him down in the bassinet and shut the door in the separate rooms. Joey and his mother cried themselves to sleep. Prepare tomorrow's parents, a facilitator for teen parent classes says that classes expose parents Expose students to both the demands and the joys of, of having children and equip them with knowledge to inform decision to make in, informed decisions. Students learn that caring for a child is an important responsibility that requires mature and stable relationship and financial stability. Reducing child 
According to an article in Times, many participants support parenting classes as a way to reduce child abuse and neglect. They say some child abuse is a result of lack of knowledge about child development. The classes teach students about how to respond to a normal child's behavior that can be frustrating, such as tantrums. Unfortunately, in many cases of violence, neglect, or otherwise bad parenting, the victims are part of the cycle. Much of what we know about raising kids probably come from our own experiences as children. Perhaps watching our parents discipline our siblings or ourselves in violent or broken homes, students may have not had the role models to become the successful parents as adults. Effective, mandatory parenting classes for students can help break this cycle. Thank you.